beautiful kids. In this video we are going to learn a valse that is very beautiful and melancholic. It's quite an easy tune but has a few little details that require a bit of practice. So I think it's a very good exercise as well as a beautiful tune. Also it's a very well-known tune in Sweden and if you want to go to jam with Swedes in general on festivals or something, you will find people who play this tune. So I think it's a very good tune to have in your repertoire. Here's an extract of the tune. And Lyby is a village in Skåne, southernmost region of Sweden. And Lasse i Lyby was Lasse Nilsson, who was a fiddler from the end of the 19th century, second half of the 19th century. And he was from this region and traveling around in Skåne. The tunes we have after him are usually quite simple, have an old feeling to them and are very beautiful. And that's also the reputation he had as a fiddler. I am going to focus mostly on fiddle in this video and fiddle playing especially, but if you play another instrument there are probably tips that can also help you there. Let's go into the A part. start on a high A, but slowly. F. E. A few little ornaments that you can add to the melody. A bit of double stops with the open A. Keep the E. Here we can keep the A and also do a little bit of a the Swedish mordent when you land on the high note. Again there and there. A little roll somehow. play an open string but you can very much also use your fourth finger depends on how you want it to sound and also depends on whether you manage or not to make your open E string be very soft not whistle and not like explode in the middle of this little pattern somehow because the note you want to put emphasis on is the D which is the last one also remember always up bow on the last note of a part in Swedish music, almost always. B part. is composed of B1, B2 that are very similar and then we use A2 so the second half of the A part as an ending. Yay for recycling! And you can hear already and probably see that that's where you have the main difficulty of this tune. It's the high C in the B part. So you have two possibilities to do this high C on a usually tuned fill. Um, so if I take from the start of the B part. 
either you stay and you do an extension in principle I'm always keeping the fingers that are underneath the finger I play on the fiddle but for this I will make an exception I will lift the fingers one and two to be able to stretch the fourth higher I take B2 and I show you the second option you have so you can also switch position to second position which is something we don't do a lot in folk music in general at least not in Scandinavia so I think it's a really good exercise it's one of the few tunes where you actually can practice this and it's not that hard because you really have already you're on the A and you repeat the A so it's easy to just so you can practice like this with third finger A with second finger A with third finger A with second finger and then it's no big extension at all basically and then when you go down you again have an, an A so it's no big deal to go down either And e. The whole B part once more. the whole tune at the tempo I would normally play it at which is quite slow actually usually valses are not super fast in Sweden but this one is usually played a bit slower so that we allow it to be melancholic and a little bit sad almost and we let it breathe and I think it's really really nice say that normally I play this tune around 100-110 beats per minute but if you want to play it for dancers you will have to play it a little bit faster else it's gonna be really tiring for your dancers so I would say 120 or 130 BPM so you can practice both I think that slower gives more space to the tune but faster is better for dancing so I hope you will have a lot of pleasure learning and playing this tune and practicing all the little details about it. As usual, the sheet music for this tune is going to be given to my patrons on Patreon. If supporting these videos is something that could be interesting for you, if you think they are useful, you can also join my Patreon page, link in the description below. Thank you very much to my patrons, by the way. I also want to thank particularly all the people who have showed me some support, written messages of support and love and care when I had big problems in my shoulders and neck recently. It's getting better, I can obviously play again. It's not 100% though, I have to be careful and I cannot play a lot, but it's getting better and I'm working on it. 
Thank you very much for your support. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. The YouTube algorithm has not been very nice with me lately and I don't even know why. One thing that helps a lot is comments. So please comment something. Tell me what you thought about this tune or this video or the new camera or this fiddle that I don't use very often. Or really, if you don't know what to write, please just write Octave. And I will also know that you have watched this video until the end. Have a lot of fun playing and listening to music. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Hey, Doa!